Chopin and Brookshire's uh, turn into the non-prescription medicines aisle for some spar cream. For some spar cream. For my big old scar down the center of my chest. Big old scar down the center of my chest. Big ghetto bird follows me into the aisle. He's standing too close to me, so I move a few feet away. He, he closes the distance, talking to himself. Again, I widen the distance. Again, he moves close. He doesn't look gay. In fact, he looks homophobic. A knuckle dragger, a mouth breather, a knucklehead. It's obvious the sky is in to my personal space. Does he want to fight or pick my pocket? I look around for a heavy jar of something with which to smash in his skull. No, seriously, he was deep, deep into my personal space. Big bruiser. Then I figured it out and laughed out loud. I turned facing him. He tries to angle his way around behind me, but I turned facing him with every step, and now I now have a large, heavy glass votive candle in my hand at the ready. We are doing a slow motion dance, a gunslinger's tango. I could see the confusion in his face. He was here trying to do his job, and I was interfering with his God-given right to steal from people. Why wouldn't I cooperate? What's wrong with me? The guy finally gives up, trying to scan the credit cards in my wallet, and walks off. They got me at LSU Hospital the night before my heart surgery. Someone scanned me when I was having a smoke. The Bank of America caught the strange purchases they tried to put on my card. I had to cancel that card and have another one mailed. So, now I'm not so forgiving of in my personal strangers space. in my personal space.